Key Steps in a Systematic Review Brought to you by Evidence Synthesis Ireland and Cochrane Crowd Module 3 Assessing the Evidence You know my methods, Watson. There was not one I did not apply to the inquiry. It ended in discovering traces, but very different ones than I had expected, said Sherlock Holmes to Watson. Once you have found the studies for inclusion within the review, each one must be carefully examined. Details about each study need to be recorded accurately and in a consistent way. Studies often have lots of publications and reports about them. These need to be grouped together so that the same study does not get included in the review more than once. It's critical to get a clear idea of how each study was conducted. The methods section of a study paper should provide enough detail for readers to understand how the study was conducted. There should also be a section that describes any limitations or weaknesses of the study. No study is perfect. A badly designed study may mean the results of the study are not reliable or accurate. But how is the quality of the study assessed? It's reported on the news. It must be high quality. Sorry, but no. It was published in a high quality journal, so it must be high quality. Not necessarily. The results were amazing, so it must be high quality, right? Afraid not. Quality assessment of studies is done using checklists. There are different quality assessment checklists for different types of studies. Quality assessment of a study aims to identify any risk of bias. Bias is when an error occurs that skews the findings of the review. Assessing the conduct and quality of the studies is a critical stage in producing a systematic review. Careful scrutiny may reveal some important factors that might have affected the results of the study. So it was Cochrane all along. Elementary, my dear Watson.